I have got all of the floors back down in the living room and in the dining room. This is a monumental moment because, and most of the hallway is done as well, a uh, monumental moment because I'm on the last tiny bit of floor and this is where the floor kind of uh, fits in with the new kitchen floor. So it's a little bit fiddly. So we're just gonna do a bit of a work and talk session today while I finish off this last little bit. So this is one of these jobs that's um, Surprisingly fiddly, mainly because new floors are generally 18, 18 mil, old floors are 21 mil. So I'm having to CA glue little spacers to the bottom up here because I can't get a hold of any 21 mil boards because of because of COVID. It's just running out of bizarre materials and all that. Covid's the uh, long running excuse, but I don't believe it for a second. I don't know what's going on. I was at Wix yesterday, they had no concrete. They were running short of sand. Um, they were running short of cement. The way rock flooring they had none of that at all. Uh, what else didn't they have? A couple of other things anyway. So I haven't used just scraps of 18 mil that I happen to have kicking about. Who's gonna stand there? Cut myself instantly. This is kind of tricky because can't get to any should be a screw there. Drill. Solid. Solid. Ah, let's have a look. What we're we doing here. Any of these fit? That would be nice. Nope. Too small. They're gonna fit anywhere. No. We're down to the dregs of floorboards left that uh, we're using the ornament really. I think what I'm gonna do. Let's rip a piece on the table saw that size, overrun it under there, and then that will just leave one little piece to put there. I'm not going to show you every single rip I'm doing on the table saw because that will get a little bit boring. No. So, write this down. This needs to be. One four, one four four by go for eight ten, and then we might as well do this one one seven five, one seven six. I'm going to turn it. Right. 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 Right
That'll do. Maybe I can find some wood. I'm back. I'm back. Don't panic. Miss this one. Uh, so what am I going to do with this? I'd quite like this to run under the frame. No, it is. I think I'm going to have to just attach a separate piece there. That's going to be a total ball ache otherwise. I can't slide it under there and under there at the same time. I can't come in from that way because of this floor. I can't come in that way. I'm going to have to cut it up to here and then just put a little filler piece there. In mind. So we are looking 655. Six, five, five. I don't want the boards dead close together, See, they'll only end up squeaking. I'll cut that while I'm in the workshop as well. And I do, do I have something to rest it on? No it is, I don't have anything to rest it on, so that's not going to be an option. Ah! So, back to the drawn board. I'm going to cut this and then work it out. So, you under there, there, it's going to need, definitely need spacers on that, needs a huge spacer on that side. Need some quite big screws on this, cause, I want this to bend a little. Spacer under that side. This side doesn't need much. No, no, no it's too big. That's perfect for there. So just go for that. Go for that there. I just need really thin space for that. these spaces quickly. And I'll do it. 
doesn't really. No one's going to be standing over there, but belt and, belt and braces. This thing sorted. Is this any good for there? Oh! Is this quite bad? Never. Oh, I thought it was exactly the right size. That would have been uncut. That's literally a scrap from the workshop. It's a tiny bit too long. Oh, so close. So close. Let's rip that to there. And then this bit's going to go here. Go for that. Won't be long. Let's try these. Like Perfect there. A lot of spaces, but they're pretty good. So I think we're safe to attach this one in. Hope you do. I can't quite explain how excited I am about having floors down. Work out spaces first. Where's my spacery? That would be on. Um, any bigger than that? Like that. And there. where the joist is. I believe although it's a bit of a chew on this but um, it'll be worth it. And we have lovely flat floors. This is the thing when you're doing like um, a floor like this where you join all to new, it's hard to get everything 100%. We'll oh, get 99.9. something on this back edge to stop it doing that. Probably. Mm, yeah. I guess I'm going to run out of spaces. Share the joint. That. 
No, but don't know where these nails are. Um, let's go there. But that would be good. Of the uh, the nails sticking through there would have been enough. Not quite. Yeah, that's much better. Much better. Screw him in. Why am I using my sideways drill? I hear you all ask. I'm using it because uh, I'm getting a little bit sick of using that impact driver for screwing. And it's the only other Makita drilly thing I've got that uses the same batteries as these. I'm falling out of love with my impact driver. Noisy. Right, just that one little bit. I'm gonna to have to shut the door and come round to do that. Right, so first thing to work out, uh, let's work out spaces. I haven't got many spaces left. I really can't be bothered going to cut more. You, you. Fixing there, 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 and there. Uh, okay, spaces. And that would actually do for there. And we we'll just need one at the end. I can't quite work out yet. Let's pop this one on. Oh, you know what it is? That's still a bit low. That's yeah, falling off. Don't think it's falling off. Ah, it's because it's hitting. Let's double it up. Hitting the joist tire. Yeah, that's good. Do it a little bit just under that corner. Let's just stop it doing that. Because that's where the screws come. So, oh god. Who are you? Yeah. 
Yep. No. There's one at that far end. That one. That one. That's the fella, I think. Maybe that corner could do with something. Right under. Over there, it's quite a big one. Let's go for that, see what happens. Kind of losing the will to live now, as I'm sure you all are as well, but. Job's got to be done. Yeah, that's fair. Look at that. That's actually a thing of beauty. Right. Using 4x50 screws, turbo golds, in case you're wondering. Until I've done the screw on the other side, and then I'll come back. Do that one. That is a thing of beauty. Can I fit on it? Oh no. Thought I'd missed a screw on this board, but I haven't. Wow. Flooring's done. Holy moly, the flooring's done. I can't explain how excited I am about that. Um, why have I got no screw in this board? Here. Was it a gas pipe? Gotta be careful, it's always only the last ones where you make some stupid mistake. I think I'm bound to have missed it. Bound to have missed a board, but I think that is all the flooring done. Subfloor that is. Look at me, I'm like walking here without having to do parkour for the first time. Let's do a quick tidy up. Firewood. There's not many leftover floorboards considering. There was just the odd one that was just too badly damaged. It wasn't worth keeping. I am very pleased with that. Very pleased. I am running, running low on spaces. Might have to buy a new stock of um, just mixed spaces. Remember as well, and uh, that I'm, there's a hardwood floor going over this. It's only a subfloor. Once you've lifted lots of floorboards up to insulate under the floors, you can't be too precious about <laughs> what you top layer. As long as it's flat and there's no big gaps, that's the objective of the game here. Dust pan. Lost the dust pan. You know, simple things in life, but look, I'm not falling down the hole. Look. <laughs> Hooray, yeah! 
That is floors are done. Proper thing off the list. Solid. Absolutely solid. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oh, one last thing. <laughs>